So, uh, I'm Simon Fraser. I'm the uh, permanent secretary in the Foreign Office. That means I am the senior civil servant, not politician, but I'm the person who tries to make this organisation run and keep it on the road. And I'm really delighted to welcome you all here. And I'm so pleased that the Foreign Office has been able to host this event in support of Women of the Future because it is incredibly important that organisations like this do support the sort of work that you're involved in. So it's a tremendous pleasure. I hope you enjoy this place. I realise it's a very humble, sort of <laughs> modest place that we've invited you to, but we've you know, made the most of it. I want to pay tribute to Pinky Lalani, who is the driving force and energy behind so much of this work. And I'm really pleased that the Foreign Office has been able to engage with Pinky and support all her work, and also a special mention to our other uh, distinguished visitors who are going to speak uh, as well, Kate Cheatham from Lloyd's, who've heard about Lloyd sponsoring this work, it's so good that they're doing that, and Farah Pandit, who is a senior fellow at the Council of Foreign Relations, and was the, I think it's the first ever special representative of Muslim communities for the State Department of the US government, so it's a tremendous pleasure to have them, and I'm not going to speak too long, because they're probably more interesting to hear than me. But I just want to say one thing, if I can, which is that many of you probably think that the Foreign Office is a sort of very distant, traditional, old-fashioned, male-dominated sort of establishment organization. And you're probably right to some extent in that, but we are working very hard to change that. And we've got a lot more work to do to open up this organization to people like you, bright, intelligent, engaged young women who might think about becoming diplomats, working for the Foreign Office or for other parts of the British government. And that's why I'm so pleased that you're here today. 43% of our staff in this organisation are women, which is better than it used to be, but it's not 50. But when you get to the senior levels, those figures go down. So we've got a lot of work to do to help women come through and rise to the highest ranks only 28% of our most senior people are women. Only 20% of our ambassadors in countries overseas are women. Well, 20% is a lot better, I can tell you, than it used to be. But again, it shows that we've got more work to do. So we are committed to being an open, modern organization that is explaining our work and trying to engage people from all over uh, the country, from all different backgrounds, uh, men, women to come and work for us, and I'm so pleased that you're here today as part of that. We have uh, a number of women in the Foreign Office who have been actively involved with Women of the Future. I think some of you spoke to Emma Wade, you've been talking to Emma today, she's a great example. There are others like Jules Chappell and Vicky Trudell and Chetna Patel who have been involved over the recent times uh, with this work, and we will continue to do that. So, welcome to our special guests, but most of all, welcome to you people in the room because you are the women of the future and we are here to support you in your aspirations and that's what this evening is all about. Thank you very much.